Hey guys, what's going on? This is Fox Shidika. And I am going to record a Pokemon Nuzlocke. Sorry about that. I had to fix the audio for a second. It seems too loud. So I'm gonna do a Fire Red Nuzlocke randomizer. And we're gonna get started. And uh it's like I was trying out before what to what to do. But now I think I have everything figured out and we're gonna go ahead and jump in. And you guys know the gist of uh Pokemon, but if you don't know what a randomizer Nuzlocke is, it's basically, Nuzlocke is a self-imposing set of rules that say that you can only catch one Pokemon per area, and uh, if that Pokemon faints, it is dead. Uh, when you lose all your Pokemon in a battle, either it's random or trainer, you lose, uh, you lose the game. And um, the third rule is nickname everyone, which I will try to do. Not the greatest at nicknaming, but you know what I'm. So I am Box. Uh, yep. And a uh, randomizer is a mod that allows you to change all sorts of things about a Pokemon game, uh, what kind of Pokemon you run into, your starters, a randomized, the move sets are randomized, names of trainers are randomized. Uh, let's see. Sorry here. Um, I don't really know. Well, I guess just to uh, make people rage, I guess. You know those hardcore Pokemon fans. Like that's not right. You don't know how to play Pokemon. All right. So. Um, pretty much straightforward. Everything is all good on there. If you've never played Pokemon Fire Red, it's basically a remake that came out in 2004 of Pokemon Red, uh, blue, and for the Game Boy Color, or Game Boy, and... Uh oh, Mr. Oak. And Fire Red just has like a up, updated version uh, from the third gym when Emerald, Sapphire, and Ruby came out. They released this, and it has Pokedex from first to third gym basically. So there's more things to do. Uh, so, if you've never played, you will find out what's what's gonna go on in a Fire Red game. So, Red is being impatient, as usual. But if you have played, alright, so you basically know the gist of things. So here we have the first starter, which they gave us Shumas. Which, I don't know. Ninjask could be useful. Has a lot of speed and attack abilities, but with the randomizer, you don't know. And they gave us a trivia. So it's kind of hard to tell. Um, I don't believe I made it to where the types of Pokemon are random, or the moveset types are random. Or the move types. Uh, just, just Pokemon, I think. 
and their moves. I think I'll start with the ninjas. I have never really used ninjas before. So let's see, I will go with. Uh, shoot, man. Uh, what's that guy's name from Naruto? Okay, sorry about that. I had to look up Shino's name from Naruto. Forgot about. Shino makes sense. Bug Pokemon, Ninja, Ninjas, you know. So, here's the thing. I made it to where the random won't really have a his starter every time we find him. So even though it said he got a Shroomus, uh, it, most likely he won't have a Shroomus when we battle him. So let's check out Ninjas, or Shino. Looks like he is bug flying. He's holding TM06. I made it to where uh, Pokemon starters will hold a random item, so... I don't know what that is. Because I made it to where TMs and HMs are also random. He has natural cure. Heals upon switching out. Never heard of that ability, so it should be useful. Especially in the Nuzlocke. And he has hyper voice, smelling salt, metal claw, and sleep talk. Um. I think the only thing useless in this moveset is Sleep Talk because I don't have rest. I don't know if Shino will learn rest. So, kind of useless. Let's go ahead and take Team 06 from Shino and see if it's something he can learn. I also made it to where the compatibility is right. Then he can't. Alright. Let's get the show on the road for our first fight with Red. And I know I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna really bother trying to be too strategic or try to do 100% of the game. So I'm sorry if I miss something. All right. See, he started with a weak though instead of a shroomish, even though it said he got a shroomish, which is funny. I know where most items are, but it's not like, you know, I'm 100% knowledgeable. So he used Fury Cutter, which is Bug, which obviously knows bug type so it's not gonna do anything and I'm just gonna spam hyper voice because hyper voice is quite beastly and I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of weak bell ASAP because of the fury cutter ability is quite dangerous if you don't know what fury cutter is it basically stacks damage the more you use it. So I like using it on the second gen games against Whitney. Because if you don't get rid of her milk tank uh, quickly, that just it's bad news for you. Alright, well, that about wraps it up for me. Um, Shino looks like he's gonna be pretty good starter uh, and next time we'll go get Oaks parcel and catch the first Pokemon see you later